I need the McFarlane Batman Beyond Batmobile. So I didn't really gravitate towards that Batmobile, even though I did pre-order on Amazon. Because like I said, they don't charge until it ships. And you don't get the Batman figure, but you still get the Batmobile with lights and sounds. And plus, the Batmobile that comes with the set in the Walmart exclusive one, or the McFarlane Toy Store one, I don't really like it all that much. I kind of prefer to just use a regular Batman Beyond. So I'm, I'm good on that. But speaking of Batmobiles, guess what's going up for pre-order this Friday, November 1st, at the time of the stream? Or, if you're watching this as a separate video, pre-orders probably are already up for the Batman and Robin Batmobile, which not only got announced over at New York Comic Con a couple weeks back, but McFarlane finally posted an official video on October 26th at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. All the way to work on a Saturday. All the way to work. Saturday morning, wake up, and God damn it, McFarlane posts this video. Fucking blow it up. Kind of, sort of. Basically, of the Batman and Robin 1997 Batmobile. And as you can blatantly tell right there, we officially got lights and sounds, which is a, a given. We needed the lights and sounds for the Batman and Robin because it's the most toyetic, bombastic, in-your-face Batmobile there is. The whole purpose of it even being in the movie was to sell toys. And lo and behold, McFarlane Toys had their work cut out for them by making the most toyetic Batmobile and in doing so, they needed, it's it's not that they should have, they needed to do lights and sounds. So the fact that it's including lights and sounds, I'm like, all right, we're covered on that. Plastic seems to be kind of glossy, but I believe it was very glossy in the movie. So that's covered. That's accurate. As far as what I can see from the video and those sweeping shots from this preliminary teaser video, it's looking pretty accurate. Because again, kind of what I was sort of saying a little bit in my review for the Batman Forever figure, I mean, I'm sorry, the Batman Forever Batmobile, was that these Batmobiles were, again, told to Schumacher from WB to be made very toyetic, to be made like they could sell as an action figure, as a toy, uh, whether it be as an RC car or just as a vehicle. And so, since they were designed with that mindset, the toys are not going to be a problem whatsoever. And so with McFarlane making it in the scale to fit a 7-inch toy, which I don't... Uh, it doesn't appear like it's going to be including any of the Clooney Batmans unless there's like a variant that they're going to toss in, which right now I'm kind of doubting because that New York Comic Con panel uh, slideshow, it, it showed the Batman and Robin uh, Batman, the Clooney Batman, but underneath it had a label that said toy not included. So I'm guessing this is going to be just the Batmobile by itself. And it does say in the caption that our Batmobile from the Batman Robin movie launches for pre-order November 1st at select retailers. Which means it's, gonna, it's not going to be a gold label. It's not going to be a McFarlane Toys exclusive. It will be available at BBTS, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, possibly Target. But keep in mind that when it says select, it usually means they're cutting one out. They're cutting either Walmart or Target. So we'll see which one. But are you guys pre-ordering this? Needs to come with a Happy Meal the way McDonald's sponsored that movie. Was it McDonald's? I thought it was Taco Bell. McDonald's did Batman Forever. Oh, okay. It was this. It was like a promotion. It wasn't actually toys. Look at this. It was this. Okay. So it wasn't actually toys. That's what I'm thinking of. Bam. The cups. 